I got a text, I think it was around 8.45 in the evening. Hi, Larry, please call me ASAP. It's about Dan. And so when I saw it, I immediately called him and he answered and he said, Dan's dead. Larry Schwartz's son, Daniel, had recently tackled his opioid addiction of 10 years, had a job, a girlfriend, started playing open mics. And he was finally back. So I think it hurt extra hard because of that. Making matters even tougher, the cause of death. He told me it was this natural substance that really helped. A kratom overdose. And he knew enough to stop taking things that were dangerous. And for some reason, kratom was not in his mind that kind of a threat. Daniel read online about the benefits, the ones promoted by the American Kratom Association, a group fighting FDA efforts to ban the herbal supplement. Kratom doesn't kill. But if you ban kratom, you're going to kill people, and you're going to kill them because you're going to drive them into the illicit markets. David Herman with the association believes coroners are getting it wrong, that they're simply listening to the message of the FDA, which could benefit financially by forcing clinical trials. If you make this a schedule one product, research pretty much stops. The little research that is out there has Herman and Kratom users believing that the 23 autopsies we gathered are incorrect, but it's not enough science for addiction psychiatrists at University of Colorado Hospital. It has some activity on the, in the same parts of the brain that painkillers and heroin act on. Dr. Patrick Failing wants to see the kind of studies that could result in a ban, as he has had patients coming to him asking for help with Kratom dependency. And we have to design um, kind of unique treatment paths. He's not saying Kratom can't help or that it can, but for him, there's not enough info to know what it's capable of. We cannot draw strong conclusions about the health and the medical safety of a really very unregulated, uncontrolled substance. So would Daniel's dad. He thought heroin might take his son, but not a so-called harmless supplement. I feel so badly for him, for what he's missing.